What's going on, people? Just got back from my camping. Man, did I got burned bad. Um, went to the western Nebraska. There's a big lake. The camper sitting outside. Just closed the door, so <clears throat> the neighbors across the street. They already go to bed. It's midnight. Anyways, uh, besides the point, I uh, had a good time. And, uh, today's Tuesday, so I ordered what was the last week stuff from Amazon and it finally came in. Um, some people might prejudice against Amazon. Uh, at this point in time, I went to Peter Bill buy a couple things and uh, I didn't buy them because they make me wear a mask. You guys know my opinion regarding masks. And uh, uh, I will start from these things. Anybody know? I bought this is a second set. I bought it. It's a 300, 330 pieces of uh, seal wire connectors. But basically, that's the new style. I don't know how long they've been making them, but basically, you stick your wires in and then you put a, a heat gun to them or a little torch. And this is a little solder and solder your water, wires together and then melt them, melt them so they weather seal 100%. Uh, like the other ones, you have to put your wires in and then squeeze them with the pliers. Guess why? Every time you squeeze them with the pliers, um, you make a little uh, crack or whatever it is in them, and they they start corroding. And though I find out how to use them, not having a problem with that, so they don't lime up inside after a while. Um, dip your wires in a dielectric grease or any kind of grease, and then stick them in, and then squeeze them, and then you. Um, heat them up and this seals around the wires but like this one you don't have to do nothing with the pliers you literally just heat them up and everything melts and solder your wires together um, they work pretty good i believe i believe diesel what's up uh i believe i paid like 25 dollars or 35 bucks for them uh pretty decent stuff so i didn't even know what they made at Everything I buy nowadays, I'm trying to buy made in U.S. or Canada, or at least Mexico, nothing from China. I'm not trying to be a racist or anything like that, but I think I checked that they were made in Canada. Uh, number two thing, does anybody know what this is? No, it's not a helmet, trust me. Um, it's a turbo blanket. And uh, semi trucks mainly using T6 housings um, on a turbo. This is second one I bought. Well, mine has a twin turbo. The first one I bought it for the higher, what is the low high? I think it's a higher pressure, which is lower turbo. My, I have a C15 twin uh, twin turbo cat, and I like to cover my snails on a turbos. Uh, with this kind of blankets because you keep the heat in the snail and you don't get the engine compartment hot well it, the the turbo don't dissipate their heat out so this is actually helps a little bit uh, the first one I bought it actually had this same material on the top but it was just a fiberglass on the inside and it started over time it started deteriorating I believe I paid 60 bucks for it so they basically spring loaded you wrap your turbo around and then you just put your spring over and it sits tight. They do work really good, trust me. Some people are like, well, they don't make no sense. Why would you need to wrap your turbo? Trust me, you do. Um, first of all, the race cars. Um, NASCAR uses, they wrap their headers in a, a heat tape. Because like I said, you want to keep your engine compartment cool as possible. And a well worth investment, believe it or not. Uh, you're supposed to get better fuel mileage by so little you can tell much of a difference but uh, uh, it helps to keep your engine compartment cool let like just end on that there's a lot more reasons another thing I'm not a big fan of aftermarket headlights um, I'm not going to be one of those assholes driving with a bright ass headlights this ones are DOT approved uh, American made I did check on there they the US made um, 
it's not the cheapest kind. I think I paid like 200 bucks for them, $190 for all four. So all four ones are going to look the same. Uh, they have high and low beam on on both of them, but this is either going to be low or high beam. Um, they a lot thinner than the original one. <clears throat> the reason I went in with LED, I had experience with them before. The problem is they didn't create enough heat, and when you get in in the wet snow, like if you get in the uh, wet snow in Kentucky or southern Indiana, and they start getting packed with snow, and you can see nothing, you have to stop and scrape them off every time. This one's supposed to create heat and uh, not have a problem. It is a plastic front, uh, steel back on them. They have like a grid for cooling. I just hooked it up you know, to jumper pack. I'm not gonna do it again, but they work very, I mean, they very bright. Uh, I don't know what I got hooked up to the high and low beam, but they give me this little extension for some reason but this is actually the Peterbilt connector so it should work I'm excited about this thing so I'll try them out like I said the the first one I ever bought uh, when they just come out with the LEDs uh, don't quote me on that I think it was like six five six years ago when they just started making LED headlights they were suck uh, they were work fine for a little bit, and like I said, you get in in bad weather, and you're like, what the flip, you can't see nothing, they just get packed full of snow, and you put your hand on them, they completely cold when they were on. So, I got those three pieces, finally, but little things for the for the truck. Uh, Should have bought a headlight a long time ago, because the headlights... The original, the stock ones where you buy the Freightliner or Peterbilt, the 4x6s. I don't know if they start making them shitty, but the the Philips used to make 60 watts, and then I can't find them now. They're only making a 45 and 55 watts. And uh, maybe something wrong with my vision. I just did my physical. They said it's fine. Um, I start running a lot of two-lane highways. And uh, can't see shit with low or high beam. Um, the, the factory ones like they shine out far enough like you can see but at least on the side so like when you turn it it's like straight beam it doesn't makes a, a wide spread of the light and this thing's supposed to do that so we'll see how they work i will make a video regarding if somebody's uh, have same style of headlights and you're debating to buy them or not but um, I did a lot of research on this one, and that's why the reason I went with this kind, um, because a lot of people said they actually work really good. Another thing, why I got the black ones, because they didn't have a gold ones, uh, not gold ones, the chrome, the chrome in the back, so I think the black will look good. My truck is not, not the darkest one, but uh, I think they will look alright. So. That's all what I got. I got on load to camper tomorrow, clean it out because we were camping in a sandy area. And uh, I got quite a bit of sand. The kids were in and out all the time. And like I said, hopefully, I don't know if I said it, but hopefully I'm going to go to work sometime this week. It's Wednesday today already. Tuesday, well, Wednesday morning. So thanks for watching, guys. And uh, like I said, I will make a video regarding those headlights if anybody is interested. And if you own a semi, buy yourself a, a turbo blanket. Wrap, wrap your turbo in that blanket. It's a T6 housing. That's why you have to research T6 turbo blanket. Because there's a lot of T4, which is like a pickup pickup truck size turbo housing. Uh, that one will not work. You have to get a T6. Uh, is it T68? No, I think it's just T6. Amazon has a whole bunch of them. Anyways, have a blessed one. Thanks for watching.